If there is something that makes my mind spin more than anything else when it comes to fishing, it is going into the unknown. To fish where nobody else fish. To search for something that is yet to be found. To let go of the boring everyday life in hopes of creating lifelong memories. But most importantly, to catch absolute monster pike. So when the opportunity to discover northern Russia in search of ancient monsters arose, it was too hard to say no. In a series of six episodes, me and Anton Fisherman will take you along something that turned out to be greater than what we ever could have imagined. Welcome to Yamal. Oh, oh, oh yes! Oh! Whoa! Oh my God. Run, baby, run! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! It's a big one, Miller! Yeah. Oh, no. And also we have some sausage from the horse. Big fish! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh. One, twenty two. One, two, two centimeters. No! Look at that! It's so heavy, Anton. So heavy. Yes! Every day this net holds a over 10 kilo pike. Before we're getting started, it's time to introduce myself for those of you who are new to our channel. My name is Mille Pettersson and I filmed this adventure last summer, in my early days working at Canal Gratis. Anton, the second guy in the video, is one of my closer fishing friends who I got to know when I did the movie you can watch in the upper right corner. The place that we are on here is called Yamal and it's a part of the Russian Siberia. The lake we're fishing in is so huge, the biggest lake I've ever fished in but it has a maximum depth of only 2.5 meters. We got here the 19th of June, but the ice melted about one week before that. But the cool thing with this place is that the pike are spawning under the ice, so they were in full post-spawn feeding frenzy mode the whole week. We also slept in tents, so we had no electricity, no water, no connection. Exactly how fishing is supposed to be, if you ask me. We had to travel for three full days to get here, but boy was it worth it. Let's get on with the video. I really have no idea what to expect on this epic journey that's ahead of us. The reason I, I came here is because of this man right here, Anton Fisherman. Hello. Hello, Anton. You are going to be my boat partner for the upcoming six days, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, and I love it. Yeah, 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 we're gonna, have, we're gonna have such a good time. We have done some hardcore traveling to get here, but in the end I sure hope it's gonna be worth it. Here it's also one thing, as Mila said, it's a morning time now. Yeah. But believe me, the whole day and the whole night it's like this. We have a polar day, so we can fish 24 hours a day and maybe a little time for sleep. Yeah, 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 we're gonna be out on the water as much as we can, hoping to catch one of these giant Siberian pike. But uh, I think we have done enough of talking now, or we will have to do some talking all along this trip. Yeah, yeah, of course. We probably didn't cover everything, but this is by far the most epic trip both you and me have been out on ever. Yeah. So I think it's time for us to, to hit the water and now the first day is only going to be exploring here, see what it's like, but as you see there is a big, big, big lake with beautiful mountains in the background. But the lake is rather shallow as what we have understood. Yeah, we, we, we just have an idea that the lake is rather shallow. We have no sonars, nothing. Yeah. We just have a pedal to check the depths and we have yeah. some lures to try the water. So let's yeah, yeah, go yeah, and yeah. try. Yeah, let's go and try, Anton. Let's go. Woohoo! So here is our boat for that week. Russian fishing boat. I think that this baby from Italy without any lead will go under the surface and will get some pipes today. But we have much more lures, so Miller, let's go. I can't wait to make a cast. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to make a cast either in this epic place. Here is really, really shallow. It's like 20 centimeters above the grass. Some little bit of water we can try to fish. And uh, you see the shore over there. The whole place is very, very shallow. So we will try to go a little bit inside and uh, to check the small, small, small base over there. And yeah, let's see what happens. I don't know, man. Let's, let's just give it a shot. But we have, we have no idea what the fish are biting on here. We have no idea how to approach them. We have no idea how they look like. But what we have heard is that if we find some good hotspots, that we are going to have the fishing of our lives. So we, have some, we had some lively discussions in the middle of the trip here where the Russians who are with me or who are with us 
claim that jerk bait is the only thing they're eating on here, but I'm gonna do my best to prove them wrong. Uh, oh, 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 oh my god, the first cast, Anton. Did you see this world? Oh my god. We have an interesting week ahead of us here. That's the first fish for Russia 2019. Woohoo! Yeah, dude. <laughs> No, I don't think it's a big one. Oh yeah, it's nice fish. Oh my god. <laughs> How long did that take? Oh! <laughs> yeah, dude. How long did that take us? We're like forecast into this adventure. <laughs> so the first bike. Wow. Oh, they are strong, Anton. Oh my god. Solid, uh, solid four kilo to start off this whole adventure. <sighs> yes. So, that's gonna be the first pike of uh, Siberia Tour 2019. It's like so compact, you know. You good, my friend? You're good. You're good. Yeah, dude! <laughs> it's like all the white mountains, and here we have some billion acres with only forest and nothing else and a bunch of pike in the water. Now let's take a big one. So that's basically how the morning turned out. There was so much fish it almost became boring. Now we switched focus and tried to catch bigger pike and it did not take long for it to pay off. This is big fish. This is big fish. I think so, it's swimming towards me. Oh, I thought we had the first big fish. Oh! Come here, Get baby. It in by yourself, yep. Yeah. Oh, she don't want to. Yes! Yeah, dude! <laughs> Eight kilo to start off this trip, boys and girls. Ah, and she inhaled the shark, or what? We're still on the first hour on the first day. I am just have no words to describe that. The bite was so good and the, the fight was the epic. The fight was so sick! We're back to where you belong, my dear friend. Oh! <laughs> oh done! <laughs> <laughs> now we can forget about all the struggle we had to come here. Yeah, Jesus Christ, the first hour catching a fish like that. That's sick. Okay, we have a radio signal. Yeah, we have a radio here so we can contact the other. We have no phone signal over here. Uh, when I came here, Anton told me, just bring all the mosquito repellent you need and all the warm clothes you find at home. So I took this one and it's, it's warm at least. And I think it's pretty beautiful. Drop a comment what you think about it. I catch a fish before! <laughs> oh. Look on the side of the pike. You know, you see my fingers, they don't go in anything in this pike. And pretty interesting fact, the only thing they eat here is white fish. Solid four kilo pike, back she goes. Maybe you can just uh, give me some tips how to catch a pike here. You gotta use shark shed. It's sick though. Now watch me, I'm gonna catch another one. No! Look at that! What's going on with my hook sets though? Yeah, but uh, you said the hook good, but... This bait has, for real, become my favorite bait. Uh, in a very short amount of time and the movement it, the shark shed has because it has a pretty big No, soon it's about to break. Yeah, but we can uh, repair it with the lighter. Let yeah. me manage It's like so sick the, mo the movement that this big paddle gives you feel it all the way in to the road tip uh, First we have to dry it Okay, so here is Anton three casts The first cast. Oh, shit! I missed that one and it was like about five kilo. 
And the first cast with Sharky. I just try to use almost all the lures I have with me. Jerk baits, rubbers. But now I put the shark shed in first cast. They are biting. So strange here. Yeah, they're swimming towards you like yeah, yeah, almost all of the time. Second cast and bite on. But small one. What? Small but strong. And miss again. See, miss again. Third cast. And bike is coming just towards the boat. <laughs> I will just set the hooks one more time. It's a small, small pike. Third time is the charm. You got uh, oh, Anton. You gotta be, you gotta be careful of the hooks, cause we have like I don't know even how many hours we have to the closest hospital. Now it's lunchtime, and I figure that you guys might be a little bit interested in a Russian lunch, and I'm gonna show you. So in Russia, apparently everybody drinks tea. So we bought some uh, preservatives with deer meat and some uh, deer sausages and some bread of course we have and also have some sausage from the horse horse, <laughs> oh, it's horse. Oh. no it's from oh. the horse here they <laughs> eat everything after this we will continue mm. and then we're gonna catch a big fish yeah actually that's not bad even uh, they are not boiled and they're like cold and raw but they're good Oof. now it's a little bit chaotic we're just after lunch here I put on net the lock and I have a small fish and Anton oh! on my new knot. Oh my god, this is the funniest. <laughs> this is the funniest stuff ever, man. Okay, oh that's a big fish, man. That's a big fish. She's one is in the net. And that's the oh, second one in the net. Take now the fly rod and get the third one now. And now it's time for you to give a big thank you to Skarna Fishing. Yes. That's crazy stuff black. right there. No bait lock at all, and why is that? Because uh, before that we come to the new spot, we just smelled some big ones here. I make the first cast with shark shit. Boom! That, that was really big one, and I lose it. I thought she cut the leader, but no, the lock was broken. So after that I changed the lock, put a new one, put jerk bait, make a cast, boom! big one again and again I lose the fish but the lock was like this you know it was bang after that I start changing the lock again and Mille said that his friends from France from Skarna fishing that show they showed him one trick how to use not very enough. very all, eh? simple very very simple look at this it's just a knot you have a, like a small mushroom here with the lighter just a knot like that so you put the lure you put it inside like this and I think now you understand what happening. You close yeah. that knot pretty tight. And the funniest part is that no one of you at home will believe it, but try it and you will be happily surprised. I, I, I said to Mila straight, I will never believe in that. Never. I'm just thinking, what if I'm sleeping now? And I wake up in the tent yeah, yeah, yeah. and we have to go fishing. This, this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is like a dream. So here we are in the middle of the desert with all these beautiful mountains and here are you just chilling nice, you know. with probably the fattest pike I have ever seen in my entire life. Okay, but that's actually not a huge one, but that's... No, it's so short, but it's <laughs> so fat. Look at that. But that's now it's it. time to release it. Yeah. This is so chaotic. Oh. Oh. There's, it's like no so, way to release. <laughs> they're so angry. They are really angry and like, yes. Yeah, dude! And here we had Sergey and Roman, who also caught a nice fish. And that's the reason why the pike are so fat here. They are all here eating white fish. Good job, Sergey! Yeah! yeah. So and bad. today we had a nice dinner. We have not only pike for the dinner, but some white fish also. Yeah! <laughs> so after some few quick ones on this one, it needs to go home. And from my experience at home, is that shark shad is good for any size of pike. But for the big fish, there is one lure to rule them all. They don't know what's about to hit them. So now I'm gonna show this Russian pike what clear blue lemonade is all about. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hell? Just try. No! Sikablat! 
fuck? First cast. First cast. Look at this. <laughs> so I lose a big fish as always and say hey Mille maybe we shall change the spot and Mille said okay let's do that just one more cast to the same place <laughs> boom we have it in the net finally yeah and it took on extremely short line mm. and I think lift it up show them in the net Anton that's gonna be a fucking fat fish Oof. I think, I actually think uh, my pre, my PB now is 10.6. Yeah, so we will measure it precisely. I, I think, I think it might be gone. Let's I think check. it might be gone. Let's take the hooligan roach out and... Yeah! I just said to the audience that I'm gonna try the clear blue lemonade and who could have fucking guessed? I have a, I have a really big hand. You have a big Belarusian hand and look how fat that fish is. Not sure if it's gonna tie my PB, but this fish is ginormous. This, 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 this is, is this happening? Is this happening, Anton? It, it's so big, this fish. I, I cannot believe. On the first day, the only thing we do is exploring, exploring this whole place and like have a look in of what's going on. I mean, I mean, look at, look at this fish. Absolutely ginormous. Right, now we need to get this baby back to the water. Oh, I'm getting nervous. Let's scale it in the net. It, it, it has to be, it has to be 10 kilo. We're gonna put it in the net. It's not very nice to weigh the fish in the gill like this. So here we go, the moment of truth. Was it worth going to Russia? I wanted a 10 kilo fish. It's so heavy, Anton. It's so heavy. We're gonna check the, the, the way of the net later. But with the net, it's 11.7. 11 11.7. 11 11.7 ah, 11 with the net. It was 112 and it's gonna be 10 something. She did not know that she would end up on YouTube when she woke up this morning. What I love about the big pike is how quietly they swim back. Yes! <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, are the reason why we travel to the Siberia to fish pike. Yes! And now let's measure the net. 11.7 uh, minus 1.3. 10.4. 10.4. 20 grams to your personal best. Yeah, but not if personal we... best though. Yeah. Anyway. But I'm not gonna be sad about the 10.4. Yeah, anyway, congratulations. Yes, that's that's so cool. And it's only first day. It, only the first day. And, and we that's continue like hammering. Such a relieving feeling. At least I did good guiding. <laughs> you did really good guiding. I was... Pontus is gonna laugh so hard at this, because it's always like this. That, po that Pontus... Uh, that I say, oh, we should know, we should go and try a new spot. And Pontus, or in this time you say, no, we're not. Shut up and fish. And clear blue lemonade. That was a nice stick. That's a nice one. Let's move it so fast through the boat. Whew. That was a good fight. But that was actually the best take I heard for today. Like, like normal strike. Boom! If Pontus come here with his favorite flow tube, so it's like no need to take paddles with him because 
Okay, if he decides I shall go a little bit left, then he can just cast left, take a pike and right a little bit, like <laughs> 10, 15 meters. Then okay, okay, maybe let's go straight. Cast straight, hook a pike and then have a ride also. Yeah. yeah, they are really strong, but now, unfortunately, like last half an hour, we have not a single bite. Oh no, but we had one. Uh, it looks like pike start sleeping. Over, yeah, it's over crazy how it can be so on. I mean, we have caught probably 40, 50 pike today and lost four times that amount. Oh yeah. We have lost so many fish, had so many bite today. And big ones we lost also. But we're soon gonna go for dinner and then it's time for us to hit the tent and get ready for tomorrow. So we had to take some cover from the rain and we had to go to our camp. This is where everything happens in here. But man, what a first day we had, Anton. Yeah, our first day was something. It's of course considering that we are far, far away from the civilization, it's a wild yeah. lake. And, but hey, that was, I can't even describe. No, I, I, I'm out of words, like we caught around 40, 50 pike and we lost so many more. Caught a 10 kilo fish, eight kilo fish, six and a half kilo fish. Lost many, many, many big fish. So I can not wait to see where this whole adventure will go. Yeah, and we have six more. We have more six days. more full fishing days. So the next couple of days will be very good. Yeah. But the only problem we have we, we can easily go out of lures with, with the bite like we that. We can easily go, we will be out of lures, but we have some at least, so for tomorrow we'll be good. But we'll see you back next week with another episode from this Russia Tour 2019. Thank you so much for watching, remember to subscribe and give a thumbs up for this crazy adventure. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Ciao! Bye.